Hello and welcome to our second lesson on probability. Today we're going to be working out an expected frequency when we know a probability. So to recap yesterday's lesson, do you want to try this two-way table? In a physical education class, children can choose whether to do an individual, athletic or team event. Their choices are shown in the two-way table. Work out the probability that the child chosen at random is a girl and is a girl who chooses athletics. Do you want to pause the video and unpause it when you're ready and then we'll go through it together. Okay, we can work out the total number of boys. That would be 12, add the 24, which is 36. The number of girls who chose athletics would be the difference between 52 and 12, which is 40. The total number of girls would then be 55, which is 40 at 15. The total number of team events would be the 24 at 15, which is 39. So the total overall is 52 at 39, which is 91. And we can check this works with 36 at 55, and that does make 91. Work out the probability that the child chosen at random is a girl. Well, out of 91 people in total, there are 55 girls. And work out the probability that the child chosen at random is a girl who chooses athletics. And that would be 40 out of 91. Okay, so let's start the main part of the lesson. Like I said, we're going to use the probability to calculate the expected frequency of an event happening. So in the first question, the spinner has three equal sections labelled 2, 5 and 7. How many times would you expect to spin an odd number in 30 spins and then in 150? So because it has three equal sections, it means that there are an equal chance of each of these events happening. And how many would we expect in the odd? Well, there are two odd numbers on the spinner, 7 and 5. So the probability of an odd would be two chances out of a total three. That's how possible. So two thirds of the spins should be an odd number. And there are 30 spins, so two thirds of 30. Well, we can work out one third, which is 30 divided by three. And that is 10. So two thirds would be double the 10, and that would be 20 spins. For 150 spins, well, two thirds of 150, we can work out one third by doing 150 divided by 3, which is 50, and double this to make two thirds. So 50 times 2 is 100. So 100 of these 150 spins should be an odd number. Do you want to try this question and unpause the video when you're ready? A dice is tossed 60 times and the number it lands on is recorded. After being tossed 180 times, how many times would you expect it to land on a 4? So the probability of getting a 4 is 6 chances because that has a frequency of 6 out of a total of 60. We can simplify this fraction so it should land on the number 4 one tenth of 180 times. The one tenth of 180 is 180 divided by 10 which is 18 times. So the probability of it landing on a number greater than 3 is 6 and 15 and 10, 31 times out of 60. So 1 60th of 180 is 3, and we want 31 60ths, so we multiply that by 31 and we get 93. So it should land on a number greater than 3, 93 times. How many times would you expect it to land on an even number? Well, two 
4 and 6 are your even numbers and that has a frequency of 12, 6 and 10. So the probability of it landing on an even, the experimental probability, is going to be 28 out of 60. So 1 60th of 180 is 180 divided by 60, and this is 3. But we want 28 sixtieths, so 28 times 3 is 84. So you'd expect it to land on an even number 84 times. Okay, so for question 1, in a bottle there are 8 balls, 3 of which are blue, 4 are red and 1 is green. A ball is taken out at random and replaced 160 times. How many times would you expect a red ball, a blue ball and a green ball? So do you want to pause the video, attempt that question yourself and unpause it when you're ready. Okay, for question A, probability of a red, and this is the experimental probability. Well, there are four red out of a sample of eight, and this simplifies to make one half. So one half of the sample, 160. 160 divided by two, and that will be 80. The probability of a blue ball, well, we have three eighths, of the 160. So 160 divided by 8 is 20. And that is 1 eighth to work out 3 eighths. We're going to multiply it by 3. And that will be 60. And for C, the probability of a green ball is given to you as 1 eighth. And we know that an eighth of 160 is 20. We worked that out a minute ago. So that'll be 20. And we can check it's right because we've got a red, a blue and a green. And they should add up to 160 and they do. Okay, for question two. The table shows how a sample of 50 students travel to school. How many students would you expect to walk in a sample of 100, 200 and 1000? Do you want to pause the video, try it yourself, and we'll go through that when you're ready. Okay, so walking, well, the probability of walking to school, and again, this is the experimental probability, is going to be 10 out of the sample of 50, and this simplifies to make one fifth. So one fifth of the 100 students, and that would be 100 divided by 5, so you'd expect 20 of them to walk. And one fifth of the 200, which is going to be 200 divided by 5, which is going to be 40. You'd expect 40 people out of the 200 to walk. And for question C, one fifth of 1000 is 1,000 divided by 5, and that would be 200. Okay, the last question. Claire has a game on her tablet. She estimates that the probability of winning each game is 0.45. Claire decides to play the game 20 times. How many of these games would you expect Claire to win? And the next part. On their website, the game manufacturer claims that the probability of winning is 0.6. Claire plays the game a total of 120 times and wins 75 times. Do you agree with the manufacturer's claim? So do you want to pause the video and unpause it when you're ready and then we'll go through it. Okay, for question A. Well, the probability of winning is given to you as 0.45. So we can work out the expected number of wins by writing 0.45 as a fraction which is 45 over 100. We can simplify this fraction, divide both by 5 
which is 9 twentieths. So 9 twentieths of the 20 times, which is going to be 9, because these two will cancel. On our website, the game manufacturer claims the probability of winning is 0 0.6. So here, the probability of winning, I'm going to write it as a fraction, and 0 0.6 as a fraction is 6 tenths. And we can simplify that to make 3 fifths. Claire plays the game a total of 120 times and wins 75 times. So we're going to work out 3 fifths of 120 and we'll compare this outcome to what the manufacturer claimed we should have. So 3 fifths of 120, well, 1 fifth will be 120 divided by 5, which is 24. Multiply that by 3 to work out 3 fifths, and that is 72. So yes, we do agree, because 72 is close to 75, and maybe if we increased our sample, we should fall in line with the manufacturer's claim more closely. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And on Monday, I'll be teaching probability with sample space diagrams. Thank you and take care.